Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty stash or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you as a subscriber, so be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Today's video is all about new Revlon makeup. Finally, we are getting like a massive drop of makeup happening over at Ulta from Revlon. It has been so, so long that I have reviewed any Revlon here in my stash so I was so excited when they had all of these items drop a few days ago on the Ulta Beauty website. I'm not too sure if they are in store. You'll have to check with your local Ulta. For me guys I just order everything online. It's so much easier that way but I would say about 80% of the makeup I'm going to be wearing in today's video and also wear testing because I will be doing a 10 hour wear test in today's video. Um, all of this stuff is brand new so I'm super excited. Super excited to try this out. Uh, I love trying drugstore makeup. I think that there are definitely some amazing products at the drugstore that we don't need to go spend $30, $40, and $50 on at the department store. The drugstore definitely has us covered and I'm so glad to see Revlon giving us a lot of newness, especially for the holiday season. None of these look like holiday releases. They don't look like things that are going to be going away. So I'm ready. I'm ready for this a full face of Revlon makeup, including the 10 hour wear test. So if you guys want to see how these new Revlon goodies are going to perform, keep on watching. And guys, as usual, I will have all the products that I'm using linked in the description box of today's video. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up purchasing, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's get started, guys. We have a primer to start off with. This is a new Revlon Color Stay Grip Primer. It says it's going to give us grip for 16 hours, and it does say that it is a matte primer. It says that it has a blend of superfoods. So it's also going to be good for our skin. So let me give this, let me give this a good shake. Let's see. I have not tried any of these products. I was just taking off the wrapper on some of them uh, before I came on camera. Okay. So it is a clear, a clear primer. It smells like lotion. So no real scent. It kind of has, feels like it has a little bit of a slip to it maybe ever so slightly like a silicone feel. Does this have silicone? Um, yes, that's the first ingredient, I met the cone. So yeah, definitely I was feeling that texture correctly. I don't mind that. I know some of you might be sensitive to silicones, so just know this one does have silicone in it. Now this does say it is a matte primer, which is fine because I am a normal to oily skin type, oily primarily in my T-zone. And if this is the first video you're watching from me, I am 39 years old. I like to have a nice glowy, dewy finish to my skin, but I definitely want to stay matte in my T-zone. Now for foundation, I picked up this one. This is not new. This has been around for a long, long time. I used to use this years back. This is the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour wear. I picked up the shade 130 porcelain. I don't know if that's going to be uh, my correct shade. And I went with the one that's intended for normal to dry skin just so that I could add some hydration to the perimeter of my face. Now this is going to provide a natural finish and it does have SPF 20. Wow, I wonder why they don't put that on the bottle. It's up here at the cap. I was like totally missing that. So let me give this a good shake. Oh yeah, I think this is definitely going to be a good shade match for me. I'm going to go in with my Anissa Beauty foundation brush. I've really been enjoying this one, as well as the uh, concealer brush from Anissa Beauty. Really nice products. How many of you guys wear this foundation? It's been, again, so long that I've worn this. I know this foundation is probably some of y'all's holy grail foundation. What I remember about this foundation is the good coverage and the longevity. Now I'm just gonna take my damp beauty sponge and use up what I have on the back of my hand just to build up coverage in the areas that I want additional coverage. And usually it's right here on the sides of my cheeks where I have my old acne scars and some minor discoloration. All right, so I think the foundation is laying really nice on top of the primer. I don't see anything weird or cakey or anything like that. So, so far, those are working great together. Now we're gonna try something I'm really excited about. And this is the new Revlon Concealer. This is the Color Stay Skin Awaken Caffeine Plus Vitamin C 24 Hour Wear 5-in-1 Concealer. 
Wow. I picked up the shade five in this one. Uh, it says that it's going to erase, perfect, brighten, hydrate, and refresh. I'm all for that. That sounds fantastic. And I love vitamin C. So vitamin C is definitely where you're going to get the brightening from. Now this does have that little dabber. I call it like a bingo dabber. So let me go ahead and see, do I need to twist it? Yeah, you got to twist it up a little bit. And there we go. That looks like it's going to be a good shade. Actually, this might be a little too dark for the foundation. Let's see. I'm using the Anissa Beauty Concealer Brush now. It's just like a little angled concealer brush. I think it's okay. Yeah, this is actually this is actually good, a good shade match for me, concealer-wise. It's almost my skin tone. This doesn't feel heavy. It feels like a really lightweight, it's definitely a creamy foundation, so... Less is going to be more. I probably went in with a little bit too much, but I'm going to go over this with my beauty sponge. So that'll soak up some of the product. And I'm going to try um, not setting one under eye. That way we can see, you know, how it's going to wear all by itself or if it's better with powder. I do have a new powder that I'll be trying out. Okay, now I'm just going to take the sponge and just press over it. That looks very nice. That looks very brightening. Wow, that looks that looks good. I like that. Okay, so far I think we are off to a really nice start. I'm liking the way the complexion looks. I have a new powder that we're going to go in with next. This is the Revlon Colorstay Blot Matte Setting Powder. This one also says, like the primer, that uh, it's infused with a superfood complex. So it's gonna be nourishing. And here's what the powder looks like. Now I'm just gonna set the right under eye area with this powder. All right, so, so far so good. Nothing got cakey, nothing got weird. Sometimes whenever I add the powder, um, things can change rather quickly, but this seems to be sitting on the under eye area just fine. Now using my BK Beauty 108, I'm just gonna add some of this powder to my T-zone. Again, I'm not gonna set the left under eye area, but I really wanna make sure I get this T-zone because this says it's going to be a mattifying powder, so I wanna see how this is going to keep my skin or my T-zone matte, especially because the foundation I'm wearing is intended for normal to dry skin. Okay, so already on this eye without the powder, I can see that it's kind of settling into my little fine line. So I'm just gonna pat that out. It feels like it still has a little bit of tackiness to it, which means it's probably gonna take a little bit for it to set on its own. But um, laying the powder down on top of the foundation and the concealer, so far so good. All right, now let's move on to bronzer. This bronzer came out probably about a year ago, maybe longer, but this is the Revlon Skin Lights bronzer. I picked up the shade Sun Kissed Beam. I've been wanting to try this product for so, so long. I am a huge fan of the uh, Prism highlighter. Is it the Prismatic highlighter? That is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. The lettering on my palette has all rubbed off. It looks like I've had it for 10 years and I haven't. I probably had it for what? Maybe like a year and a half or something, but that is a really good highlighter and I'm definitely gonna be using it in today's video. Okay, so here's a close up of what the shade looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it on the back of my hand. This looks like it's gonna be the perfect shade for me. And I like the imprint of like a palm leaf in there. It looks really cool. All right, so I'm taking my Refer 04. And let's start bronzing up this face. Yeah, that's a really, that's a really good shade. Now this bronzer does say that it's supposed to give a nice healthy glow to the skin without um, causing any cakiness, without having any glitter particles, which there's no glitter at all in this. Just a really soft, like diffused type of a glow, I would say. And I love that. I don't mind if a bronzer has a bit of a glow to it. Like I don't always wanna wear a matte bronzer. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, I do like a nice healthy glow to my skin and I think having a bit of a bronzed look that has a bit of a glow to it, that just makes your skin look so healthy. I love that, I love that look for me. 
Now I have a big forehead, so I go a little bit heavy handed with the bronzer. My forehead can take it. You don't need to do this much if you don't want to. I always do the sides of the temples and right here, I don't take it all the way down, just like right up here. Now I'm gonna do the sides of my nose really quick. I'm never like really that precise. I mean, if I wanted to be more precise, I would use a smaller brush. I just want, you know, some color. I always do a little bit right here. And sometimes I do down here as well. I don't always do this, but we'll do it today. Now we're gonna go in with blush next, and this is a new shade, it's called Apricute. And I'm taking that on a Refer 04, and there is a lot of pigment. Beautiful pigment though, wow. Okay, I'm gonna take some off on the back of my hand. That's pretty, and it blends in with the bronzer so nicely. All right, so now I brought out my highlighter, which <laughs> this is already broken, but this is the Skin Lights highlighter, the Prismatic highlighter, and this one is in the shade 201 Daybreak. And I'm gonna apply that using my AOA Studio F19. Look at how beautiful this highlighter is. It's not glitter, it's just straight up beautiful, soft glow like a soft shimmer, but there are no glitter particles like at all. It's just such a healthy, beautiful glow to the skin. A lot of people say that this is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amarezi highlighter. I have that one that is just like a cult favorite. I love that one. I don't think I'll ever finish it, so it'll be in my stash for a while, but if you're looking for an affordable alternative to that, and also because that one is not available anymore, consider picking up this one. I don't think you'll be disappointed with it at all. And this one does come in like two other shades, so I wanna say there's like three shades total. Okay, now I have a new setting spray to try out for you guys. This is the Revlon Color Stay Lock Setting Mist. Also says it's gonna lock in our face of makeup for 24 hours. And it also says that it's infused with that superfood detox blend, just like some of these other products are. What else does it say on the back? Shake well, hold 10 to 12 inches from face, yada, yada, yada. Give it a good shake. I like that there's a little ball in here to really mix up the product. Now I'm gonna spray it first. That looks like a very fine mist. Okay. There's no real scent to it. Yeah, not at all, but it feels really nice. Definitely a nice, fine mister, which we love that, we need that. I'm just gonna get my beauty sponge, press everything in, make sure there's no little water droplets. And let me take a closer look at my under eye area. So yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely settled. So I'm just patting it out. Now on this eye, I think it looks okay. I feel like it's kind of accentuating some of the texture that I have right in here. But this one definitely feels like it's set. This one still feels like it has a little bit of tackiness to it. So we'll see. We'll see which under eye looks better at the end of this uh, 10 hour wear test. Now I bought a couple brow products. This one is new. This is the Color Stay Semi Permanent Brow Ink. And this one is in the shade 352 Soft Brown. Now it says three days flawless brows. So wow, that's pretty amazing if this will last on your face for three days. I'm not gonna try that. But it does say it's gonna give your brows that salon brow look. I've never had my brows professionally done. I mean, there's not really much to do to them. So um, I wouldn't know what that's all about, but you guys let me know if you've had your brows done or maybe some of y'all have done the microblading. Let me know how that went. And then I also picked up the Colorstay Brow Creator. This is a micro tip brow pencil and a powder in one. So yeah, the one end is a powder and one end is a pencil. And then you also get a spoolie. Nice, and so this is gonna provide 16 hours of wear. So I'm gonna go in with this first and then I'll go in with a brow ink. All right, so there's what the pencil looks like. Let me go ahead and just swatch it on the back of my hand. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be a really good shade. And then where is, okay, so then we turn it and then this is the powder right here. You can see that there and there's the, the two shades. Okay, so let me do the pencil first and then I'll do that little sponge. And then of course you get the spoolie on this end. This looks really interesting. Let me, let's see. Let 
Okay, now let me try the powder. That's interesting, but it's it's strange the little applicator. I mean, it's just flat. Hmm. Okay, now we're gonna go in with this brow ink. Now I wanna point out that this says it's going to be um, waterproof, smudge proof, and transfer proof. So you do get a spoolie on this one. It is right up here. So let me give this a shake. There's also a little ball in here to mix it up. So here's what the applicator looks like. It looks like an eyeliner. Oh boy, let me, let me swatch it back here. So there you can see, let's try it. I mean, that was easy. I I like the shade that it is as well. I like that. That looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let me go ahead and do the other brow. All right, so here are the brows. What do you guys think? I like it. I like the products. I mean, they're interesting. They're definitely different than what I've used before. And I like that there's a spoolie on both products. So that definitely comes in handy. All right. So now we're going to start creating the eye look. And this is the palette that I picked up. This came out a while ago. This is the uh, So Fierce Prismatic Palette. And the shade that I picked up is Slight Flex. So I'm just going to use a little bit of e.l.f. Eye Putty Primer. All right. Now, to me, these all look like shimmer shades let's see i'm gonna swatch it really quick on the back of my hand so here they are swatched um i mean we'll try it <laughs> let's see what kind of look i can create i'm just gonna do this eye and then i'll take care of the left eye off camera i guess i'm gonna go in with this shade first so i'm gonna run that in the crease and let's see how it does and i'm taking that on a refer 15. so i'm not really seeing any shimmer which is good. Now on a refer 02, I'm gonna pick up some of the blue shade. I'm just gonna kind of make this a smoky eye. That's a pretty blue. Now I'm gonna pick up some of that blue on a refer 13 and just use it to blend into the crease. Going back in with the refer 15 and that first shade. Now on a refer 26, I'm going to pick up this shade. And I'm going to use these two shades for the lower lash line. I'm going to pick up some of this shade. All right, now I definitely need something bright for the inner corner. So I'm going to go back in with the highlighter and I'm using a refer 03. All right, now I bought this Colorstay Matte Light Crayon and it's a purple shade. Let me go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. There you can see it. That looks pretty. So I'm going to do this uh, for sure on the lower lash line, specifically the waterline. Hey guys, this is editing Steph here. Really funny story. So the eyeliner that I'm about to put on my waterline and on my lower lash line is not actually an eyeliner. It is a lip crayon. I just noticed that in doing the thumbnail for today's video. So here I go again using lip products on my eyes. The good news is I didn't encounter any irritation. Let's get back to the video. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna take some like on the lash line and then I'm gonna use a brush to smudge it out. I'm using this little pencil brush from AOA Studios. I've tried several crayons like from NYX and e.l.f. I definitely think this is much better than e.l.f. I've even tried some from Wet n Wild. So far this one is like beating all of them. Wow, that looks good. I'm going to be interested to see how this one holds up all day. And if it does well, I'm definitely going to want to buy more shades in this one. All right, now I don't have a liner for the top lash line from Revlon. So I'm just going to go in with this one from Maybelline. It is the Hyper Easy Liquid Liner. 
Now we have a new mascara to try out and it is this one right here. It is the Revlon Sophia's Lifted High Volume Mascara. It says that it's infused with conditioning cannabis sativa hemp seed oil. <laughs> it even has a little plant there. <laughs> um, it says eyes wide open and I of course I got the shade 101 black. Um, again this one says it's going to be 24 hour wear. That's a lot of claims that Revlon has uh, in today's products. Everything seems to be 24 16 three day wear um yeah that's pretty impressive i want to say this also came in a waterproof formula but here's what it looks like so let's look at the brush okay so it's one of those plastic applicators i'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes real quick this is the refer eyelash curler all right let's start i like a volumizing mascara I do have length to my lashes. I've been using Revitalash for over three years. A lot of you ask me about my lashes, like how do I get them so long? What do I do? And I've been using Revitalash, it works. <laughs> and I use it all the time. Like I've never stopped using it. Now that I have the length, like I can go every other day, use it every other day, but it's been three years consistent use. So a write up on that is always in the description box of my videos. Um, so you can just read up on it, my journey and all that stuff, but that's what I use and it works. I remember trying a couple Revlon mascaras a while back and not liking them. So far this seems to be doing a pretty decent job. I have not dipped back in. This is still the first coat, and this will probably be the only coat I do. All right, so I definitely think it's helping the lashes to hold the curl. All right, guys, so let me pop off camera. Let me do the left eye, and then I'll be right back, and we'll apply the lip color. All right, now let's apply some lip color. I picked up this one. This is the Colorstay Satin Ink. This one is in the shade, uh, what is this? 32 Lady Topaz. Don't know how well it's going to go with the look, but let me swatch it on the back of my hand. You can see. Let's try it out. This might be a new product as well. That's a beautiful shade though. I think it matches. I think it goes with the look. What do you guys think? This feels really comfortable on the lips. So we'll see how long this lasts. I'm actually getting ready to go eat lunch. But this is how the makeup looks. Full face of trying new Revlon makeup, minus a couple products that weren't necessarily new. But I'm going to be wearing this face of makeup for at least the next 10 hours. So I will be back in five hours to give you guys the midday check-in. And of course, at the end of the day, to give you guys my final thoughts, we'll see what held up, what didn't, and I'll go through each of the products and let you know what I think. So I will see you guys a little bit later. All right, guys, so here is what my face is looking like after five hours of wear. What do you guys think? Um, I will say that as far as the under eye concealer goes, again, this is a side that I did not set. I feel like maybe I lost a little bit of coverage on this eye when compared to this eye. But so far, I've not experienced like any fallout or flakiness like with the mascara. I really love this purple crayon. I think that's fabulous. I'm totally going to be picking up more shades in that. This is what's left of the lipstick. Uh, mind you, it's been five hours. I have eaten. I've been drinking water, a lot of water and tea throughout the day. So this is what's left. I mean, I don't think it's terrible. It's a very comfortable formula. So I'm probably going to reapply some in a little bit. But um, so far, so good. I feel like I have like a nice healthy glow exactly the way I want my complexion to look. I have zero complaints right now. But we'll see if all that changes in the next five hours. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this 10-hour wear test over me trying out these new Revlon products. I'm sure you're wondering about the lip color. Well, it is indeed what I thought was an eye crayon. Turns out to be it was a lipstick, and this is the shade. This is how it's supposed to look on the lips. Personally, I prefer it on my lower lash line. I think it looks really good, and it did really well throughout the day. So um, this was interesting. It doesn't say anything about it being a lip product on the packaging. It says matte light crayon. 
color stay matte light crayon so naturally I assumed it was you know for the eyes you can do it both ways uh, I didn't experience any irritation like I told you guys earlier so yeah just wanted to throw that out there this is definitely the elephant in the room let me go over the rest of the products so let me start with the the primer that was the first thing I applied so I thought it was nice. It is a silicone based primer. There is a little bit of slip to uh, the skin and so the foundation went over it just fine. I'll be interested to try it with other foundations. I don't mind that it's matte. Again, I am a normal to oily skin type. So um, I thought it did a great job paired with this particular foundation and with the concealer and powder. So no problems there. Um, I think it's nice. If you're looking for a new primer and Revlon is your brand, then maybe it's something you want to pick up. I wouldn't like go out and just buy it, like make a trip to Ulta or make a special order from Ulta just to buy it. But if you're in the market for something new, this wouldn't be a bad one to consider. Next up is the foundation. It's not new. Um, again, I did get the one that's intended for normal to dry skin. I think it looks fine. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it kind of looks a little makeup-y in certain areas, like right around here. But again, it's already been 10 hours and I thought it did a good job. Once again, I'm wearing the shade 1. 30 porcelain in this one and it seems to be just fine for my skin tone next up let's talk about the concealer so this is the eye that I set and this is the one that I didn't early on I did experience some settling on this eye which I did not set that has since gone away and I think it looks almost identical to the set side however I do feel like this concealer is going to take a little while to settle down so if you're used to powdering your under eye area I would most definitely do that if you intend to pick up this concealer I thought it looked really nice with the um, setting powder this is the blot matte setting powder I'm going to be interested in trying this with other concealers other foundations just to see um, um, if it's going to provide more of a mattifying effect. It has been 10 hours and I feel like I'm a little bit shiny, not too, too bad, but I feel like my nose could definitely use a blot right now. Um, I think the concealer is worth checking out. I'm not a huge fan of the applicator. It is that like bingo dabber style of applicator, kind of like the NYX Born to Glow concealer. Although I feel like I get a little bit more coverage with this one than I do with that one, but it is a really nice lightweight formula. As is the setting powder. I mean, I think it's a nice setting powder, but if you don't want a matte finish, then definitely don't pick this one up. Again, I'm gonna need to try this with other foundations to really see if it's going to help mattify my skin. But I think it did a fairly decent job today, especially since I was wearing a foundation that was intended for normal to dry skin it's gonna have more hydrating properties and so for my nose looking the way it does it doesn't look too bad but I feel like I need to blot um, I would say this did a fairly decent job the bronzer blush and highlighter these again are not new the only new thing is this one this is a new shade it is the shade 28 apricute and I thought it was a really nice pretty neutral shade I loved this bronzer if you haven't tried this bronzer this is the skin light prismatic bronzer highly recommend that you check it out I have the shade 115 sunkiss beam and I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot here on my channel this is an oldie it's an oldie but goodie I love this highlighter this is again the skin lights collection the prismatic highlighter and this one is in the shade 201 daybreak glimmer highly recommend checking this one out the eyeshadow palette which is this one right here this one again is in the shade slight flex I mean it looks nice is this something that I would have bought if I wasn't making this particular type of video? Probably not. I definitely have a lot of other eyeshadow palettes in my stash that just draw my attention in a little bit more than this one. But I will say that after 10 hours of wear, my eyeshadow is clearly still on and I think it looks pretty good. The setting spray. I thought the setting spray was nice. I'm going to be anxious to try this out again with other foundations and concealers. This is the Lock Setting Mist. Again, it says it's going to hold our makeup in place for 24 hours. I don't need it to last 24 24 hours and I hope you don't need that either you do get 1.9 fluid ounces of product in here there's a little ball to help shake up the product and they do say to shake before you spray the mister is a very fine mister so if you're looking to add a new setting spray to your stash you might want to consider picking this one up now for the eyebrow products 
I like them. I'm definitely going to be using these more in the future. I like the eyebrow pencil with the powder and it has a spoolie. It's like a three in one. Again, this is the shade Soft Brown. This is a good shade for my current hair color. And then I also got the shade Soft Brown in this uh, semi-permanent brow ink. This is one of their latest products. This is a different applicator. This again, just totally reminds me of a liquid eyeliner. It's different than the brow pens that I'm used to using, like those Mark style pens but I thought this was nice and again there's a little ball in here to help shake everything up I'm definitely going to be using this going forward and the last eye product is this one right here this is the so fierce eyes wide open mascara I didn't get any flaking I think my lashes still look pretty good and out of all the Revlon mascaras that I've tried over the years this definitely tops my list I haven't always had the best of luck when it comes to Revlon mascaras but I did enjoy wearing this one today and and last but not least, we have this new Satin Ink Lippy. This one is in the shade 32 Lady Topaz. This was a really nice, comfortable formula. I would say it did a good job with longevity, even though it did come off after I ate lunch and was drinking water throughout the day. I mean, there was still a little bit on during the five hour check-in. I don't mind if I need to reapply lipstick. I mean, it's on my mouth, it's meant to come off. That doesn't bother me at all. I thought that the shade was really nice, a good neutral shade. Love of the formula I wouldn't mind picking up more shades in this one and those are all the products guys after 10 hours of wear this is how my face is looking I don't think it looks bad I'm gonna give this new Revlon makeup haul two thumbs up the majority of the products that I tried they worked well I still like the way my face is looking after 10 hours of wear even though I mistook this lip crayon for an eyeliner I mean it's pulling double duty here and I'm not mad about that at all I will be using these products more going forward and you might see them in an upcoming monthly favorites video so definitely stay tuned for that I will have my November favorites video up on November 30th I always try and upload that monthly favorites video on the last day of the month so definitely be on the lookout for that and let me know your thoughts what did you think about these new Revlon products what are some of your favorite Revlon products that I need to try out leave it in the comments down below I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink that water, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!